And it is reassuring and motivating, isn't it? Definitely, definitely, 100%. Yeah. Uh, I know that vaccination will be, mm, will be one topic of, uh, of your exclusive interview with Mercedes Vera Martin, who sat down with the checkpoints, especially with Elena, after concluding her term in Georgia as the mission head of International Monetary Fund, just, just to warn uh, here our viewers and followers that we will have a chance to watch your uh, interview just right after, okay? After the checkpoints. Yeah, after the checkpoints. Thank points. you, thank you, Georgi, for, for this uh, introduction. But we had a chance to have a small piece in Georgian just this morning. Of course, in, in Forbes Week, week. Yeah. in Forbes Week, where you teased it, I did. I did. <laughs> teased it um, already. Um, and thank you for this introduction as well. Of course, hope our viewers and followers find the conversation with Mercedes Vera Martin interesting. And let's now move to some economy, well, some industry talks, uh, which we decided to initiate it, uh, in the checkpoints, which seems to me a quite interesting idea. And uh, let's see how that works. Yes, Elena, the niche of providing the full picture on, cent on certain and hopefully, I mean, all industries in Georgia seems to be free to this point and I do believe that our idea will work. Which industry shall we focus on just for tonight? Um, I thought this could be an industry that showed quite a resilience uh, during the pandemic and that's the milk industry. What's your thoughts on that? Why not? That's quite interesting sector with uh, quite developed players on the market. Yes, and um, this is um, already reflected in official statistics, Georgi. Despite the pandemic year in 2020 compared to 2019, figures for milk production in Georgia have actually improved, grown by 10 million liters, which means that it has been boosted by 1.17%. Um, Let's take a look at the dynamics of this sector. Milk production in Georgia increased in 2020. According to preliminary data published by Geostat, last year the country produced a total of 572.5 million liters of milk, which is 10 million liters, or 1.17% more than in 2019. The increase in milk production is linked to the rise in the livestock of imported cattle, increasing productivity says the Association of Dairy and Dairy Producers, which explains that today the country has a high price policy for milk, which is due to a milk shortage. The association also notes that last year proved difficult for the sector. The economy has slowed down. Sales have decreased significantly. This is because tourism has stopped entirely. Therefore, the influx of visitors has been significantly reduced and logically, sales have been incredibly low. As for businesses, despite the increased milk production in 2020, large or medium-sized companies still face problems as consumer demand for milk and milk products decreased. Issues with sales decline were caused by the lack of tourism and the disappearance of Horaka sector activities. The largest producer and seller of dairy products in Georgia is Santa GMT Products. Revenue from sales in 2019 for this company was 84 million lari. The second largest player in the dairy market is Wimbill from Georgia, which is represented by the Sopris Nobati brand. The company's revenue from the sales of dairy products in 2019 was 58 million lari. Due to the lack of tourism, the problems are discussed in one of the largest dairy and dairy processing plants in the country, Sante, where last year is considered the year of the best way out of a bad situation. The company's expectations for 2021 are also pessimistic, as they do not expect the purchasing power of customers to recover this year either. Also, in case of a sharp devaluation of the national currency, price adjustments are not ruled out this year either. We are ready to face an extremely difficult situation. First of all, we do not expect the overall situation to improve significantly in the first, second and third quarters. I'm not talking about factors such as reopening of public transportation. Of course, this is important, but restarting the economy and tourism is even more essential. We do not expect a high number of tourists this summer because there are no clear preconditions for that yet. Shiraki, which has its own farm in addition to production, notes that the company saw a 30% drop in sales last year. The reasons are the same here as in other businesses. In addition, the founder of the company focuses on components needed to increase the amount of raw milk in the country and reduce the number of cases of counterfeiting. For several years, at least for three years, VAT should be removed on lactic aked products made from raw milk 
such as the example of cheese. As for the Mazzoni issue, the law has been passed and the law must be enforced. The use of organic milk in the making of Mazzoni must expand, which will increase the demand. The topic of etiquette must also be enforced, which is mandatory for everyone. Sisame talks about a dramatic 40% increase in prices for various raw materials imported for cattle feed. However, despite the increase in prices for products and raw materials, the company still manages to keep prices unchanged at this stage. The reason for this is that the consumer perceives the increase in prices for primary consumer goods as painful. In 2020, we actually increased sales. We had a 40% increase despite the COVID reality. We have grown through several events, promotions, networking, and the expansion of product varieties. As we have seen, the dairy sector has faced many important challenges and the year 2020 has definitely worsened the situation. The future plans of the companies are vague at this stage, as large or medium-sized market players are waiting for the economy to fully open up and for the situation to stabilize. Hey guys, stay tuned, subscribe and follow us on BMG.